Hi, so today I'm going to be talking about how I painted this postcard. Hi, my name is Luis Escobar. I'm a storyboard artist on the Simpsons television show. I've been working on the show for over 25 years now, and I'm here to empower you. So I always find it very fun and gratifying to work on these postcards because it allows me to experiment. And I'm thinking a little bit more uh, currently about uh, being more abstract, um, s simplicity, um, uh, very neutral um, colors, um, things like like something like that that would be put on on a wall, and, and and feel like it belongs there, but it also lets you participate in like things like that, right? So I just I, I'm looking for for something that that feels a little bit more more like that 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 you can look at it and then put it, something that isn't so spelled out that that the audience doesn't have to think about it so you you so I, I tried to do something a little bit more vague here uh, I don't know if it worked <laughs> but I like the way it turned out so but that was that's the intent so I'm gonna I'm gonna keep trying to do something like that and see what happens um, if I can do something if I even like doing something like that so that's that's kind of where I'm coming from but uh, anyway let me let me get to show you how I how I went about doing this one so having uh, drawn out what I was planning to do, you can see it very vaguely in red there. Uh, the very first thing I did was wet every area that I was actually going to put paint in because I wanted the water to just be runny, like like uh, just the the paint. When I wanted it to just you know do that thing where it just kind of gets all soft and. And it it, it kind of didn't do it. <laughs> I mean, it pool it got all pooled on the bottom there. Like it just gets there was just like a little pool of a blotchy uh, paint down there. And I kept on no, I wanted to exp I wanted to be like poof poof, and it didn't it didn't it didn't poof. It was really very annoying. I I didn't I didn't understand why didn't poof but and then and then I added a li little bit of brown just kind of try to make it darker there uh, so I added here I added um, I was I, I try to neutralize the blue so it wouldn't be so blue on the uh, underneath the the the, the head and um, it, it wasn't it wasn't quite the right value I ended up going back in and adding a touch of red <clears throat> Here I wanted to make the eyes seem a little bit more black, but um, first I put a layer of blue. With the lips, notice that they are they are a little bit more brownish red. So th there was some red there. It, it was actually like a, a red with it's just a neutral, neutral uh, kind of a orangey red. And then that's when I put that same um, value under the under the the chin there under the the leg under the the, the head there and um, here I'm putting in a little bit of brown t so that I can make the eyes a little darker uh, again uh, it, 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 they meant to I meant to make them a little bit black and I put some nostrils in and finally and that was it like that was all I was gonna do with the with the figure I was gonna leave the entire thing completely abstract uh, just the shape and then just barely any detail so the rest of it was I I opened up my bottle of black ink which I barely have I've rarely used I, I don't haven't used in a long time I took a I took a, 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 a toothpick and I stirred it I stirred it I, I used to shake it I used to like just shake the bottle but um, I I saw some videos of some people using ink and stuff, and they said, you know, uh, try not to shake the ink, um, just stir it. So I stirred it, and, and, it, and, it, was, and it was great. Uh, uh, and, and stirring it, by, by stirring it, what I mean is that uh, sometimes the, the, the pigment, the, the sediment, the, the black, uh, tends to, tends to uh, go down to the bottom of the, of the bottle. And so you want, you want it to be fully black when you, when you use it. And I was really being sloppy with the ink. I didn't want it to be like absolutely perfect and beautiful and, 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 and every single uh, 
line and stroke be completely filled and and, and I didn't want all the and, and every little white spot to be completely gone I, I didn't I I didn't I, I like the idea of, of a rough the rough idea right of, of the ink there so that the trickiest part here was waiting long enough so that I could come in here and start erasing the pencil lines because the pencil lines were very 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 visible uh, you can't really see it in the video because I, I kind of adjusted the color here just so that you can see um, that the papers a little bit wider but um, yeah yeah you you there was a lot of pencil lines here but then i erased it all and then that's when suddenly it was everything just started kind of popping and came, came together and, and 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 i really liked the results so that was uh that's this painting guys um thank you for for watching i hope uh, you enjoyed it you hope you got something out of it and i'll uh, i'll talk to you next time all right <clears throat> bye so I'm happy to announce that I now have a new drawing lesson called Drafu Guide to Sketching and Gesture Foundations. It's the beginning of the level two information that people have been asking me for for the drawing website, which will teach you where to start drawing, what to draw, what to draw when you draw, how to draw from observation, how to draw from imagination, how to draw what you envision, and how to discover what you ought to envision if you don't have anything specific in mind. So if you find any of this interesting you could follow the link that you see or you can go to thedrawingwebsite.com look under level two and you'll find the link there